students from India or the region, before they go overseas, they need to ensure that they've got the right education agency or education representative assisting it. The best way to look out for an agency is to look up the university website and look at the, their representatives on the ground. And almost all universities do list their authorized representatives uh, in India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh or Sri Lanka. You should try and ensure that the agency is a member of the accrediting body for that country. For example, ARI. ARI is the Association of Australian Education Representatives in India. And it vets and uh, accredits a number of agencies. The information on that is available on the internet from the ARI website. ARI was promoted by the Australian government through the Australian High Commission in New Delhi and supported by its education, trade and also the immigration department. Like ARI, for other countries too, there are such bodies. For example, for New Zealand, there is something called the ENZRA, Education New Zealand Recognised Agencies. And I think that's a very very good indicator to ensure that the agency guiding you or, or assuring you or helping you out with the process on the ground is recognized by the government of that country. For other countries on similarly there are not so many uh, accrediting bodies in India but it, I think one way, good way of going about is to look out for the certification that the consultant or the counsellor might hold. For example, an Australian uh, counsellor tends to clear a certification called EATC, which is conducted by a body called PEER. Uh, almost all Global Reach counsellors are EATC certified. For New Zealand too, there is something called New Zealand Certified uh, Counsellor, and that too, uh, almost all uh, New Global Reach counsellors have that certification. For other countries, there is a Singapore certification, there is a Canadian certification. They are not as well developed, uh, but still a fair bit of an indicator.